Hi friends, I'm Alice. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you um, what I use for my journaling. So just my favorite journal supplies and that also kind of is what I have in my pencil case. So uh, to start off, I just have a very um, cute but very old pencil case a friend got me in, um, when she was in Korea. And so let's get into this. First one we take out, I have my Pentel Aquash. Oh yeah, also I want to apologize for the weird focus when everything seems blurry. But there are a few things I want to show you up close and so I put on the manual focus. So um, this way when I, I don't know, so the focus just doesn't get crazy and stuff. So yeah, I have the Pentel Aquash in a very fine tip. And this is perfect for me because I like to do rather small drawings and this allows me to get into more cute and small details. Um, the workhouse set that I use with it is the Winsor Newton Cotman travel set I think it's called. And I actually have all the original colors. The only color that I removed is the white, which I replaced with the black because I've been trying to do a little bit of that old Chinese drawing, paintings, that feeling, you know, and they use really strong blacks. Um, um, <clears throat> I know black can overpower all other colors, but I can't get that sense and that feeling of really strong um, red and black if I don't have a black so that's what I used in here and yeah I should maybe clean this but I feel like I, mix, I mixed some colors really nicely and I don't want to waste them because there's still so much left so these two are for watercolors then in here I have a mechanical pencil which is the Uni Kurotoga 05 and the special thing about this one is, first of all, it looks really fancy <laughs> and second of all, it has a mechanism in there where whenever you use pressure and ride with it and just, you know, lift the pencil, it rotates a little bit so the lead stays sharpened and won't dull. But the thing is, I use really light pressure and I don't press too, press, I don't press too hard when I draw so um, it does not work all the time for me but other than that it's actually really nice. Then I have a Uniball Signo 0 0.38 in brown. I also have one in black and these two are my main journaling and writing pens. They are really nice. They um, after they have dried completely, they are waterproof, so you don't have to be afraid to maybe spill water on your journals and stuff. Um, it takes a little bit longer depending on which paper you, you use, um, the drying time I mean. On the Tomorrow River paper it takes a little bit longer, but that's kind of expected because the ink kind of sits on there. But yeah. Oh, I kind of forgot I had this. Um, this is a zebra. A zebra calligraphy pen I guess. It's from China. My cousin uses this when she has to do her hand lettering homework and it's just like this pen brush kind of thing and it's it's okay. I can't do brush lettering and stuff like that. I, I've tried but I need to practice more because I'm really bad at it. Then I have a Micron, Sakura Pigma Micron in 005. This is my favorite pen to draw um, or to sketch with. It's I use it for pretty much everything. I also have it in 01, also in black, and I have, sorry, and I also have it in 01 in sepia, which is more or less a really nice dark brown. What I do when I do my sketches, let me show you one for example, would be this one, this girl here. And I would do the initial outline, like the sketch with pencil and with the with the Kurutoga pencil and then I would go in with my microns and do the proper line art and then I would erase the pencil lines with this mono dust catch. Tombow. Yeah, it's by Tombow, it's Mono Dust Catch. And the great thing about this eraser is it 
It actually erases really well even with light pressure. Sometimes when I draw a lot and it, the sketch gets messy, I kind of like just dab <laughs> the um, the the unwanted parts away and kind of works like you it's then it just is very faint but you can still see the lines which I kind of like and also if you properly erase it you don't need to use too much pressure and as the name says it kind of catches those little you know those parts and you don't have them all flying around but rather like a real long and big piece so if you haven't heard of these, definitely check them out. Generally, the mono erasers are really nice. Now that I've discovered these, these are my favorite erasers so far that I've used. Next things, I have a Uniball Signo in broad. It's the white one and I just use it for some highlights. Um, I don't know. Do I have some? Let me see. I have... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not too proud of it because I feel like it didn't turn out too well. But for example, her, as you can see, she has like those highlights on her jackets and stuff and also on her legs. I don't know what I did. But um, yeah, that's one way that I use it. And also it actually looks... Wait a minute. I'm sorry. It also, it also looks really nice on just craft paper. If you write with it on craft paper... Um, so that's what I do. I really like this pen. Um, what else do I have? The Pilot G207. G207. It's um, quite broad. I don't like broad nibs to be honest. I prefer as thin as possible. 038 is actually my preferred nib size. It's kind of perfect. Um, but with this one I do heathers. Like, again, this pink lady here. As you can see, I did the, um, like I write titles. I always write titles on my journal link pages so that whenever I flip through them, I can quickly see what I was writing about, which is easier because I write a lot. <laughs> I like to ramble on and on. Then I have three different kind of, kinds of highlighters. These two are the Friction ones by Pilot. This one has a really nice and soft pastel kind of turquoise. It's a really neon kind of green. And um, this one is one by Muji and it's a, ugh, it's a gel kind of highlighter, which means it does not bleed through your pages. You can use them on like your Bible or um, the... I don't even know what it's called in, in English. Oh my. But like these things, um, they have really thin paper and when you use them, when you use regular highlighter, it will definitely bleed through the other page, which is really annoying. So I really recommend these. I also have it in orange, but I have not opened it yet. <laughs> I just bought it kind of like a backup, um, but this one's really nice. What else? Again... I have two highlighter pencils this time. They are both by Jolly, which is like an Austrian brand for stationery for kids. <laughs> but they do have quite nice things. So this one is um, a neon yellow and a neon orange. And again, I use this for my titles. I will do the border outline of the title. I will do with... I'm sorry, I still trying to figure out the focus I will do with this and then I will draw in the title with the highlighter pencils okay next I have a Coletto I had a scissor in my pencil case and it completely scratched off the colors which I was so upset about because I really like the color it was such a nice um, gray metallic kind of gray and it really scratched it completely off which I was so upset about but it's okay, because I rarely use this anyway. These days, I don't know, I really like the colors. I think they're so practical. But the only thing is, their ink is not waterproof. And that's like a huge bummer for me. I really need the waterproof. Because I spill things, I like to use watercolors on my pages. So it just does not work out for me. Um, but I really love this one, because I have it set up that... Uh, first of all, look at this tiny little wing, it's so cute. 
right? <laughs> because um, I have a special edition one and I just pop off the mover part and replace it. But this one is just your regular black ink. Then I have a 0.5 mechanical pencil and the white one is an eraser. This one is so perfect for sketches on the go. I used to use this when I had my field long size and with just drawing on the go. This one is really nice for that. I have a Muji mini cutter in here. I still use it in my plastic bag because of this, because it got scratched up. Um, so now I just keep it in a package and it's just a mini, you know, crafting knife. Really sharp and really practical. So I love this. Let's put it back. And the last thing, I have a mini pencil. I'm um, colored pencil. It's two-sided, so it has blue on this and red on this. I think it's a sketching pencil for like architecture stuff and and those things. Um, I used it so much that it's actually so small that I can't draw with it. So I took a cap of like a really old big pencil or something and just popped this on. So <laughs> yeah. Um, I do actually have a new one but I feel kind of sad. I don't want to throw this away. And then the last things. I just have some sticky notes. And that's it. It's all empty. So. Let me just throw these. No, wait, that's all too much. That's not right. Um, but let me just show you some other stuff that I have. Oops. I also really like to use um, fountain pens. <laughs> Lately, I've not used them because, again, they're not waterproof. I don't have waterproof ink. I do have one archival ink, which is like a Documentus ink by I don't know which brand. But I've come to realize they kind of clog up my pens if I don't use them regularly regularly so um yeah but I use this for note taking in class so when I have uni I will pop this in my pencil case what else did I not mention oh yeah I have a lot of like colored pencils not a lot like literally just I don't even have 12 colors I think but these are really old ones these are ones that I still had from like I don't know, junior high? Or like, I don't know, really, really old. I had them probably since I was 11 or so. Um, but I do work great and I've started to try a little bit more of colored pencil stuff. So that's what I have. And they're all from different brands. Like, I don't even know, this is Faber-Castell. This one is, I think, Libro Jolly. I don't know, just... Just a lot of stuff, a lot of different stuff. And that's actually basically it for my pens. And let me also show you what I also like for my uh, journaling stuff. I really like these clips, these skeleton clips. I also have a really huge one, which I use to clip open the pages um, at the book, which I'm reading, currently reading. I just like them to clip flat like open a page and clip them flat because they will do this kind of stuff <laughs> like they would just open since i have a lot of stuff in there so it won't lay flat but with the clips it kind of helps also really like the writing boards um, because they help me get the pages flat i like the surface the writing surface if i have a lot on the other page i put this in and it gives me a nice flat writing surface also I would sometimes use this and just write on it because I don't know I get sweaty on my palms and then the pages get all wrinkly and stuff so that's also what we use and of course I love washi tapes I kind of can't really show you right now because I have it on this moving thing but like I just have a few I, I think I don't even have 20 so not too many and also I really like to use stickers in my journaling. Let me show you a page. Like, I just like to journal um, and, oh, that's perfect, it's kind of blurred, so I can actually show you a quick flip through. <laughs> um, I really like stickers because if you don't have enough time to actually sit down and draw, you can just stick on some stickers you have and that kind of like solves everything. <laughs> it's still nice, it's colorful and it's, yeah, stickers. I mean, 
Okay, got cut off again. I don't know. I have to do some settings on my camera. But anyway, we are actually almost at the end. I just wanted to say that if I had to choose three pencils, and that's it, like only three pens for my whole journey, I would definitely take these three. So I'd take my mechanical pencil. I love mechanical pencils. And definitely the Micron in 005 and also the Uniball Signal. I don't know what it is with Uniball um, Signals. I have so many Uniballs because they're just so nice. They are waterproof. Most of them. Most of them are waterproof after they've completely dried. So it's really nice because I sometimes, I don't know, I've cried over my journal. <laughs> and then you have those little dots and, and everything is blurry. <laughs> I don't know. So um, yeah, these three pens. And that's basically it. I mean, I don't use a lot for my journal. It's mostly just writing stickers and washi tape. And yeah, and of course my journal, which I journal in the 003 blank insert, if you're interested. Um, the next video will really finally be... We, blah, 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 sorry. <laughs> the next video will definitely be a journal with me video because I've promised that so many times, but I haven't gotten around to do that. Um, yeah, but definitely stay tuned for that. So that's it. That's it. <laughs> I wish you a nice week and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, by the way, happy Chinese New Year. Have a nice year of the rooster. So, okay, now. Bye.